the sharp tank. No jumper. Sharpest, coolest podcast in the world. I got a lovely lady in here today with me. By the name of Sin. Hey, how, how are you doing today? I'm good, little anxiety, but I'm, how you spell I'm Sin? Up. Is it S I N or C Y N? It's spelled C Y N, but it's pronounced S I N. Yeah. I mean, it's really pronounced the same way, but of course. really, like Sin, Sin, like why? <laughs> Of course. Everybody think it's S I N though, but it's Is really it like C-Y-N. short for like Cindy or? Mm, it's Cindy. not short for nothing. It's really just C and just C. How'd you get that name? Uh, I made it up myself. Made it, I made it up. Um, it had I don't to be really a go. Reason, no, right? like it. really, because I tried to. Um, I'm in a process where I'm trying to rebrand myself. Okay. So like, okay. Um, I used to go by Trap, which is like my name. So I'm. Oh, so you did. Yes. Mm. <laughs> so like I'm kind of. <laughs> mm. What you think you're gonna do with that? Nothing. Nothing. Mm. Nothing. So <laughs> <For real>. uh, <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to move away from that. I'm really tired of that because I was really straight for pay. So I'm just being like, I really like bitches, love bitches. It's just I just did that for the money. So really, you uh, you're gay. You're yeah. Okay. So I just you know did that, and that was just like a little phase in my life. I'm just ready to move on. So how'd that work out for you? Yeah. How'd that work out? It for was you? like being gay for pay. To you, because to you, straight that was pay. being, that was, oh, well, being that was straight like, for yeah, pay. I'm yeah, sorry, I'm you know, sorry. Yeah. No, you're right. Being straight for pay, I've never, like, I don't really you never say heard that of that? I have, but I'm saying, I, mean, I don't say it too much. Yeah, like, I say it too much to really. You mostly hear, you know, gay for pay. Um, You know, you hear that one quite more <laughs> frequently. Everybody's laughing, like, I mean, it's <laughs> getting real. <clears throat> nah, that was, it was smooth when the money was like, um, I mean, the money's always good for sure, but like, yeah. when I slowed down, cause I got really tired of trying to keep doing that. Like, I really don't like that. So a lot of that's, the films and stuff, it was just, like, fake. And I was, like, as soon as I will get done, I was, like, all right, y'all. Like, bye, thank you, shake hands, and, like, dab you up and, like, go. So oh, it was, like, some shit like that. So it was, like, yeah, one of those. Yeah. And it was just, like, over time, I really just kind of got tired of that. I just don't want to really just um, put my image like that out there anymore because I really don't like the disrespect that comes with it. Like, at first I could take it, but, like, over time it gets kind of tiring. Like, just being my damn, oh, bitch, come on, suck my dick. Like, I don't even like this for you to be yeah. saying. Then you coming so disrespectful, like, then mm-hmm. most people they don't want to um when they see you as like doing or something like that like they don't it's just like they lose all respect for you they forget you're a human being they use that sex toy and I'm yeah. really not like if people meet me like I'm real nice move calm going it's just that's just what I did for like work or to make money so it's like that's not my personality that's not who I am I'm not a so I just did that because that's this I just did it yeah. just to get some money or whatever. so you felt like so do you feel like if men probably would have treated you a little bit, like just courted you a little bit better. Just a little you know? more respect. Yeah, I probably would have said it in a little not, bit more. Like, yeah, like not sitting <laughs> but it was just they were just so disrespectful. I'm saying, do you think you would you would like men more? Like, you oh no, I don't like. Towards, I find no sexual. Bi- bi- I don't movements. have no sexual attraction to no dude ever. No. Where do you think that started? You seem yeah. like you're, you're, you're what they. Call I had it. two boyfriends though. You a femme, right? Doesn't they? Call mm-hmm, a femme. Yeah. But I'm the I'm the one that's bending. Oh, bending, doing a bit. Like I'm. Wait, wait, wait. Break I'm bending the girl me. over. A girl's not bending me over though. So I'm like the dominant one. I'm more dominant. I'm but real you're dominant. more on the fem side. Of yeah, things. I'm a fem. Dom, I'm a dom fem. Dom fem. So. Hello, I'm not doing Hello, this. I'm not orching my back. It's like new colors getting mixed and new names to them every day, isn't it? <laughs> so I'm like really a wild card for real, but <laughs> that's a wild. Like, that's an NFL wild card. Like if I've ever seen one, dog. Like I was like, okay, she's a femme. Like because I see it, she does the lady things, Donnie. You know, she keeps it very ladylike. And then you like, but nah, I'm the one that's bending them yeah, over, really yeah, sending them to hell. I got different sizes, color, shapes, whatever they want. I have it. You give you give it. To them. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yeah. Hmm. Um. It would never yeah. get that good for her. Yeah. What if she wants her. to like? What if your girlfriend? I'll say it for you, done. Like, what if you know you get a girlfriend? You know, y'all at the peak of y'all relationship, having fun, everything's beautiful. You've been, you know, bending her over and ramming her for a while, now, <laughs> right? and then she goes like this. Okay, come on, babe, it's your turn. <laughs> No. Just out of nowhere, just you know, like she all right, just, babe. No, I just feel like I would have to be just so drunk and just out of it and just be like, "Fuck it!" Like, well, she probably, probably gonna be... make sure you at that point. Okay, if she do it like that, then maybe like, because sometimes I do want to get a, but it don't never. 
I just can't see myself bending over for another girl. Like, you, hey, your little poo poo still be wanting something. To go <laughs> it do, right? In and out, in and out, right. in and out. You know? <laughs> it do, it's but I just can't. To, I just can't see myself doing that. <laughs> I, just I mean, you still want something that goes in and out. You like a little bit of. Baby, I do. You're still a woman. Yeah. You know? That hey, that bumping pocketbook <laughs> shit only goes so far. No, you know? it's really more like intense than this. What y'all be thinking? Like just eating it. I'm being, sure. Like, no, listen. I'm sure it real. gets intense because there's a love there because it's so bottled up. Y'all don't know like how to women, let it out. It's just like it's real so, passionate. Like we just bottled make up. Make love. That should feel good. But what if a man? But there's men. I know. I get it. Go ahead. I get it. Good. But there are men in the world that I'm sure would love to court you properly. You know what I'm saying? And make love to you properly. You just have to find them. I mean, uh, you are, listen, you're uh, only 21, baby. Mm -hmm. 21. Well, when did you turn 21? Uh, I mean, I'm going to be 22 in two weeks. Okay. So, so you're about to be 22. Mm -hmm. You're 22 years old. You, I mean, how long have you known that you, you were gay? It was for a minute, like, um, from the start of it, I feel like I was always, like, bi-curious, but I didn't like the term um, bisexual because I'm like, you know, I like dudes, so I like girls. I didn't feel like I really like both for real. Mm -hmm. So that's why I that's why I had told you I had like two boyfriends at a point in my life. But then really with them. They mistreat you. Like, Were towards the end, of, at first it was kind of good. Like, it really wasn't that bad. But I feel like in the bed, it just wasn't really pleasing. So I would leave. I would cheat on them with females. And they wouldn't mind. Like, oh, well, Probably my bitch go f You know, it was you feel also. Like, did you feel like he, um, he was getting his? off and you wasn't like it didn't you didn't feel yeah it was just more than that it, it was, was like, like a cheap thrill yeah more for you and he, he was just having this yeah, little he fun just, and getting yeah moving. and then it was just like like wouldn't once he was there, done he was done he didn't care about what wouldn't sit there and lay on top of you for a second and still <laughs> kiss your <laughs> baby as soon as he busted <laughs> up <laughs> he like all right i'm done like you like like damn nigga, you didn't even see if i was good yet yeah, like he, i ain't like, like that sure, i ain't yeah. like that hey no. i mean you young baby i mean i'm sure you've met a lot of people you know already but you've have yet to even see who you going to meet throughout your life. You know what I'm saying? Who's going to make you feel any type of way. You know, that that's just me from just knowing of experience, just meeting women like, you know what I'm saying? You don't know who going to make you feel a certain way. You know what I mean? Yeah. You got to give yourself some time. I'm not saying that you're not mm -hmm. gay and I ain't over here trying to switch your mind no, frame to it. it. But give yourself a, a, a fair shot at it. You know what I'm saying? Especially being grown. Because it sounded like you had some boyfriends when you was young, baby. A couple boyfriends. Yeah. They don't really know no better. They All do. he know how to do is, is is bang on it and get up real quick. Can't even do that for real. You know? Come on. Like, <laughs> like I don't know. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm yeah. just saying, like, just come in and try to have his way with but you. I don't even see up. myself with a dude like that. Like, I don't. I really just don't I just feel like that. it stemmed from somewhere. Because you obviously tried it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like you tried to be with men because you know that's what you, you something made you feel like that because I know gay people like Hellcat. Shout out to Hellcat. She said, nigga, I ain't never took no d in life. <laughs> None. <laughs> None. Boyfriends, nope. She tell you quick. I'll pull Hellcat up in here right now. She'd be like, nope, I ain't got no man. No boyfriends. She's like, I ain't never took no d man. We was like, not even a little bit. You never even let somebody stick the tip in. Nothing. She said, nope. Never. So that's why I be like people that have actually tried it. Like, I just feel like maybe it was bad experiences. You know what I'm saying? But that that many though? That. Like, two. Back to back? Two. I, okay, wait. Yeah, two like official boyfriends. Wait, 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 wait. So I said two official boyfriends. Like, I don't right. date a little bit with males before. It's just, I had two boyfriends. But we're talking about some, okay, okay. understandable. But those two boyfriends were somebody that you actually chose to give a chance to. Uh -huh. Right? Yeah. Yes. There were only two of them. You should already know. When you trying to go get your little rocks off and you trying to go be fast in the streets and you was going to get nailed on, I mean, you knew that's what kind of came with it. But for somebody to say, yeah. okay, we go together. Mm -hmm. Him say, we together now. Like, you only had a couple experiences and you was young, sweetie. That's yeah. all I'm saying. Like, you ain't fucking no, already at 33, 34 years old. Like, I done tried it. <laughs> Hell, I had a kid with it. It just didn't work out. I'm done. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm finding more success over here in this realm than I am this one. I agree. You know, just I, I just more, say, no, give I already a I do, but I just don't see like right now. I just don't see it. So like you said, I'll probably just wait. Probably give me some more time for real. But I, I don't think I'm gonna ever see it like that because I've been mm -hmm. like this for a minute. Be I've nice been man. like a girl, a man that's just really like he make you laugh. You know, every time you see him, you happy to kind of see him, but you don't want to admit no, it to nobody. No, dude, ever. But you don't <laughs> no, admit dude. It. Huh? <laughs> 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you don't plan on, you plan on even having children one day? No. No, not at all? Mm-mm. I Is it because you like feel kids. like you ain't going to take care of What you mean you don't like kids? Um, you can't say that, baby. We can't say we don't like kids. It's going to make it seem like you're committing hate crimes. No, no. <laughs> I just, I... <laughs> Like, we can't say we don't like okay. it. fathers and Let, fucking okay. like, Maybe you don't like kids. Okay, like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Let me reword it. Like, I, man. Me, I just don't think... Um, I don't know how I want to word it. I just... Because you not, don't want to... Because what you don't want to say no. is... You don't want to seem like, no. damn, I, I, I did piece of mom, so I don't want to really yeah, say like, that. I don't want to say it like that, but yeah. I feel like I'm not responsible or I would be, like, really able to really just sit here and just take care of a whole... Like, person. I'm yeah. not, I don't have the patience for it. Like, I can't stand here crying. Like, that crying just, like, makes me go mad. So, I just can't. It's just certain things that kids come with that I they just won't be able to help. Bit. There's only nah. a few things that babies want when they're crying. You know what I'm saying? And by the when time they start everything? crying when they're older, you can actually ask them what the fuck's wrong. Yeah, that's going to take the too long, though. I don't on. have patience, though. So, you it's like, but babies, can't wait that very, long. Listen, very simple. They want a few things. If he's crying, he might want a diaper change. If he's crying, he might want to hear she might want to give birth. If he's crying, you know what I'm saying? Like, just, you know what I'm saying? They might want a bottle or just whatever the case may be. You run through a formula. It's a quick program. I tried. When it's I had my, little, my siblings, See, it didn't work. All right. See, no, Donnie, because I, I know the problem here. Because I felt like I had that problem, too. Mm-hmm. You already had to play mama probably too already young. So you're like, whoa, is this what this is? Yeah. Me staying in the house, me not really having nothing, me sitting here hours on in, hours yeah. on out, constantly catering Feeling the children. Feeling kind of stuck. Like, yeah, it'll it'll but, definitely fuck with you like mm-hmm. that and make you but it's and make you feel that way. But it's different when you have your kids because you I actually set the too, motherfucking though. role. You set the rule. It's not your mama leaving them with you because, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. you ain't going through that. And I understand probably why you feel like that. When you had had to do it so young and you probably didn't get to have a childhood or, you know what I'm saying, like yeah. that, just that outside upbringing, you just constantly with kids, last thing you want to fucking do is grow up and have some. <laughs> so I, do, I yeah. do understand that. You know that what I'm saying? One, yeah. How was your right did you have your family? Did you have both your parents? Did you feel like you grew up alone? Um, for the most part, I'm going to say I grew up alone. Um, mm. I kind of don't want to get too into it because well, I still haven't here. recovered Welcome for it. No, I haven't. I haven't really well, like healed from it. it. No, I don't want to be on here crying. You're not, hey, listen. I want to cry. I know. Well, I know. it's okay. I haven't healed from it, so well, it's kind of like. Well, maybe we can heal today. Let's heal together. Uh, Let's heal together, baby. The only way to, hey, the only way to get through it is to get yeah, to it. Yeah, but no, I can't. That's the only way, baby. You got to, hey. Got to address it one day, mama. When you gonna, what, you gonna keep running from it? No. You gonna let it hold. It's not gonna say like it's not. You gonna let it be whole shade to your life constantly? Mm mm. Um, I it? already forgave both parents already, so I feel like that's kind of nipped in the bud. It's just still thinking about my childhood. It was just so shitty, so it's just like I don't really, I don't know. But I feel like now that I'm older and I'm able to do like a lot of things I want, I couldn't do back then. It's just making my like just filling the void in my childhood that I didn't. Like, I don't know how to explain it, but... You do. You explain yeah. it right, baby. Okay, well... <laughs> well, do you yeah. feel like... You feel like they... So you feel like your parents, they kind of held you back from you being who you wanted to be. Is that why you feel like you grew up now and you just kind of, like you said, that wild card? Um, uh, I feel like... I, re- I At the end of the day, I still make... I don't know how to... Ex- hmm, I don't know how to answer that one for real. Um, really, so my mom was in my life until she went to prison, and then my dad left when I was three, and he, like, couple, of, like, a year or two ago, he tried to come back, like, he was like, oh, I, like, whole paragraph, oh, I'm so sorry, um, I should have been there, nah, 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 but, like, it's too, it's too late for that now, so I was telling him, like, I don't really care for that now, I don't really want you in my life anymore, if you, since you left, you just stay gone, there's no point of you trying to come back and, you know, do all that, so it's, so, like, and I just, I don't talk to my mom anymore. Since she came out of jail, she was, like, a whole different person. I mean, prison, she, she came back a whole different person. So, it was just, like, bad from there. And I just, really, kind I just been by myself. I feel like she came back as. Who was you staying with, by the way? Um, While this was happening? Uh, in the system. Mm. And with my uncle. Oh, see. Yeah, it's okay. It's all right, baby girl. It's all right. Take your time. Get some paper towel, honey. Take your time, sweetie. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, 
No, I don't want so you're that. Staying, you're staying with your uncle. Yeah. Throughout the mixture of it. Mm-hmm. How was that? How that work out for you? It was cool. Your uncle was cool. No. <laughs> no, nah, you tripping. That's your mama, brother, or daddy. Yeah, my mama, brother. Yeah. What you mix? Yeah. Black and white. I'm like a mutt, really. Kind of yeah. mixed with a lot of. Mostly black and white. Yeah, yeah mostly black and white. Yeah. Mama was white. No, she's black. I think my my dad was white. White, and he was mixed. So he's like black. And white. He was mixed with something. I don't know. I don't yeah. remember what my mom told me, but okay. he went all the way like black. Okay. Yeah, I'm just curious in your upbringing, baby. That's all, you know. Sometimes you need to talk about it because, you know, you get to address it, make you feel better afterwards. Like, damn, okay. He said out loud, after a while, it won't sting as hard. You know what I'm saying? Because you're used to it. You know, I mean, I get it. Dang. No, it's all good, man. Shit. Okay. Did you go to school? How was school? Um, was you popular? <laughs> A little bit. Popular. Like, I was, like, I was well-known. I'm going to say that. I wasn't, like, the popular g- girl. But um, I ran track, so, like, I was the fastest girl on my track team. So, like, the whole school knew me as, like, I, I could beat the boys and everything. Like, I was just really, really fast. So I was just really kind of known in high school for that. And um, I was really going to take it for a wood track. But I was going through so much at the um, within my household. Ended up getting to it with my coach, and then I just ended up quitting the whole track team altogether. So I didn't really get to finish nothing with that. I graduated. Was you in? Was you in? I don't mean to interrupt. Was you okay. in foster care at this time? Mm-hmm. Okay. And then um, what happened? You say you quit? You just yeah. So quit I quit. Everything. I quit everything. And oh, so I graduated at top ten in my class. Graduated when I was sixteen, and I was like. I was going to give myself, uh, like, a year break or whatever. Like, I was going like, to give myself a break for a year and then go to college. And I, I wanted to be a neurosurgeon or, like, a lawyer. That was, like, the main two things I wanted to do. I just couldn't figure it out. So I'm like, you know what? I'm giving myself a break to figure out what I want to do with myself. Um, I gave myself a break, and I just ended up not going to college at all or nothing like that. And that's kind of how, like, OnlyFans came into play a little bit. I had a job. I had a car. I had my um, – I was – me and my friend, we was playing for, like, an apartment. So, like, we was good. Um, I ended up wrecking my car, so I couldn't get to work. Got a car the same week, wrecked that car, so then I ended up losing both my jobs and everything. So then I had to go back to my mom, where the one that adopted me. And um, I was just sitting in the room, like I had no money, no, nothing. I was like, how am I going to I kept applying. Nobody was um, accepting me. And then if it was like a good job, I was like, how was I going to get there? We only got one car. So um, I had a friend, she had, she was on OnlyFans or whatever. So I didn't know what she was doing. I just knew she was making money. I'm like, girl, where are you getting this money from? Like, you don't even do nothing. And around this time, like, <laughs> she was making like seven bands a month. And back then, that was like so much. I'm like, damn. Well, seven like, bands a month for anybody that's not getting it. Like, they ain't yeah. had nothing in a while. Mm. Sounds grand. You know Literally, what I'm of course, that's how I, I mean, felt. So I'm like, whoa, it I'm still like, is. Like, it's <laughs> some good money for somebody, man, especially trying to live and do what they do. Like, you need something. Something, yeah. I just had cool. nothing. Like, I literally had like $5. And that's it. And I was holding on that $5 for so you long. I remember. No, you ain't had no jail to lay down the baby ears, huh? <laughs> nothing. Yeah, just, nothing. Uh, no, no fresh brush. No pro I style. Have nothing. It was yeah, just no so bad. Weapon. And I was trying. That's what was <laughs> making me so mad because people who don't even try. And it was like, I was just trying, trying, don't trying. It suck to see people like that. Yes. And it was like, like damn, damn you know, like, I'm really trying. This motherfucker <laughs> ain't doing shit. Life's a whole fuck up. Still got bread. <laughs> Literally. Ain't so it's that like, now, that's you what it is. People like that <laughs> fuck up every day. Still got bread. Man, like, bro. And it was eating me alive for real. And she told me, she was like, it was OnlyFans or whatever. So I tried it out. Mm. <clears throat> Mind you, this was not my personality at all. I never seen myself like getting into something like this. I was worried about what um, my adopted mom was going to think and all types of crazy stuff. So I was like, um, what my family was going to think. Mind you, my adopted family, because I don't mess with nobody from like my biological right. on either side. I get that. That's why I, I know when you say like your mom, yeah. you're like my adopted family. Yeah. I got you. So, um, what was going on? So, the first month I tried it out, I was made like 400. That was just something. I'm like, cool, cool, cool. just a little start or whatever. Second month, it was like 400 again. Third, fourth, and fifth month, it went to like three, four thousand, like within a month or whatever, like each month. And I'm like, you know what? Like, this is not really no, me. This not. Get your hair done. Yeah, nails I was getting done, something done. Hot Cheetos, <laughs> new charger for your nails, phone. Nails, everything. Hit the like I was that getting. Was actually, fixed on the I phone. had bought my first iPhone when I had um, made that money. <laughs> so I had bought my bought my first iPhone. And everything. You I, like I didn't have shit. a phone. Like, I, yes, I was just like, like I felt like I was doing phone, stuff. Uh, you, you doing some, just <laughs> doing everything up. like yeah. so. Uh, <laughs> I was popping. Y'all could tell me nothing. 
So I was like, you know what? This really not my. This really how I don't want to put myself as this person. Like I don't. Like you know, I never seen myself doing it. And so the same month that I was finna stop OnlyFans was the same month I went viral and I made eighty thousand that month in November. And I just didn't. From that point, I didn't stop. Where's the money? Go, this is gone. That shit hella gone. Gone like being gone. Is screaming every bit of that. No. That you was like, no, that was guilt. I don't even <laughs> that down. We don't even want to say eight thousand and there's a Michael Kors in on this I motherfucking had... table. It's gonna make me highly upset. Cause it's telling me everything. Yeah, I had so many fake friends I spent it on. We went trips, we went everything they wanted. Like every time we went out it was on me. So they it was used just like you. I all that is gone. Like all that money. i I didn't save nothing. Like and then every money was like fifty K then sixty K then fifty K. Like it was just like coming in and it was just like so fast. I was so yeah. young. Yeah. yeah, that that was gone. Then eventually I just stopped. So after I stopped, I'm I'm trying to go into YouTube and just do like like branch out and like so leave you that alone. So you did only fans to me. I mean, unless you was on there getting pulled down on there, was you getting pulled down on uh, Only Fans? I got so much stuff on my Only Fans. No, I'm saying because you say you did porn, so I feel like porn and Only Fans is you think it's two different cousins, things? but they not really the same because porn is just it's some flat out fucking. I was flat out. Fucking. I don't care if it's even pocketbooks bumping. You know what I'm saying? If it's <laughs> girl on girl, however it goes, you know what I'm saying there's still some interaction. Girls on Only Fans. There's a lot of girls that are on Only Fans that be like, no, I do solo. Like, I don't mm -hmm. do anything oh, with anybody, okay. you know? Well, I'm going to clarify. I, I actually did. I had nine girl orgies. I had, like, trains on me with dudes. I don't have, like, three dicks at a time, like this, this, switching. I don't did, like, a lot of, a lot of, like, anything you could think of. I pegged a dude on there. I got, like, feet content, titty content. Anything you can think of is on my OnlyFans. So I did all that. I'm very experienced. Like, that's why I said. I'm just kind of over it now. I did so first, much. Huh? Perfect. Professional first. So I know. <laughs> Professional first. I know how my shit is. So, so that's why I was so successful in it because I didn't really, I didn't mind having sex with niggas. It's just, I didn't really, that's what made money. My, my girl on girl, it did not make no money. My, I'll put a um, video of me, my girl on girl and it'll probably make like 200, 300 dollars. But if I post a video with a dude, I see uh, you got quick. half a motherfucking million on your Instagram and no follower. You don't follow nobody. No. Zero. No, I don't. What's want. that about? Is that real? Is that uh, cap? Tell me the truth. No, it's it's real. I promise. I mean, because I know you got motion. Like you know I had, like, nobody, I used to like, follow people, and but it was only like a hundred. Like I really never was I the type to that. follow a lot of people. I, be I believe in that structure of it, but mm -hmm. I'm just like zero. I I'm just like, went down nobody. over the years. <laughs> I just kept going down. So then I made it like fifty. I'm like, look, I don't want. I just never really want to follow nobody because I'm really not in the media. Like people be talk come and talk to me. They were like, oh, did you see what happened on this? No, 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 no. I'm like, no, nah, girl, what you talking about? It's like I live on a rock. I don't see none of that. All I see is myself and what I got going on and what I want to pursue and things I want to do. So I don't, I don't want see nobody's story. I don't like see none, another shade room, none of that. Do you feel like it? Uh, it like keeps you out that stress bubble that yeah, everybody's that's in. Yeah, that's a lot of yeah, because people be locked people, in with too many bit, in yeah. with that shit. And it's like you you consume your life worrying about other people's business, and yeah. it's just like you're not even doing what you're supposed to do. You sitting here worried about. He and she got going on, and who breaking up, and who fighting, and who internet beefing. Like that has nothing to do with you. Much. Like you still sitting at the house, and they still. You currently got a girlfriend today. Yes, I have a girlfriend. I wanted her to come with me today, but she didn't want to come. Why she want to come with you? She should be here to support you on your big I day. I told her What's she didn't want to do Donnie? it. She didn't want to do trouble it. Trouble in paradise. <laughs> <laughs> Is there trouble on no, Gilligan's she said you're a very No, she thinks you're a very Fuck. strong character. She should have she still came. Why leave you? Listen, if she know I'm a strong character, right? Exactly. I was like, and there's a so chance you know that him I cut your is. head to the white meat, right? <laughs> and there's this chance. Why would you leave your girl and throw her to the wolves like that? Selfish. She's like, I was thinking about it. I said, wait, just come on. Think just come about on, just, it. Yes. She really should have been here with you. I know. And I held your hand. Right. She should have been the professional hand holder. Exactly, but she, she didn't want to. I don't know. You know what? I ain't going to force you, so I'll just be back. <laughs> but let but let some opportunity come from it. She going to want a piece of the pie. Oh, she, mm -hmm. You dig? She going to want a piece of the pie. She can't get too much. You know, I kind of believe you because you're the only one over there nailing her. Mm -hmm. So she's the only one taking something. I'm just saying, like, because I, I got to think about it, right? You're the only one over there nailing her motherfucking ass. So, yeah, she can't say shit no way. Sit your punk ass at the house. You ain't about to do nothing. You ain't about to do nothing. You can at least be a supportive wife. What's wrong with you? Can't come support this girl yeah, for her she, big moment? 
you just could. And I was like, girl, you know I'm going to have a anxiety attack like, or something. I'm like, you just need to be there. She's like, it's, it's How long you been work? No, it's fresh. It's, it's fresh? fresh. Mm-hmm. Oh, so she's just a fresh little turnout yeah. for you, huh? <laughs> you turn it. <laughs> Yeah, that's why I really want to trip it. Yeah, you, you know, know I'm really a homeboy. Like, 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 yeah, like, you do. Oh, that's a fresh little turnout for your ass. I get it. Yeah, yeah. So that's really why I'm tripping too bad. I'm like, fresh you know what? Fish like, on the line you know, you, yeah, right? so it's like, ah, I get it. Right. Yeah, you like your fish wedding squirming, Damon. Mm hmm. Yeah. All in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> you motherfucking do. I bet you do. You don't think it probably stemmed from, and you can, you can answer this yes or no, like, you don't think it stemmed from, like, Probably going through so, like because you've been you know, you've been so sexual at a high level, mm-hmm. right? Do you feel like it's like fuck? I'd have had everything. The only thing I ain't never had is just like a woman, a bitch to be my bitch. Like bitch, be <laughs> shut up. I've been through all this shit. Like so, you feel like running the program? Like yeah, let me run this motherfucking program. I be quick. running niggas too though. Like so, you still I, I like told niggas. you no. I yes, when I did do. it, no, I don't. Yes, you do. I know. I don't. Yes, you do. I promise. You find a nigga that smell good, look good. He probably smell good, look good. He ain't nothing I want. Like he though. ain't nothing I want. Hey, even if it's for a stolen moment. No. You don't mind no stolen dick. No. No. Like it would never thief. happen again. No. You ain't never been a no. dick thief. No. Yes, you no. have. You mongrel. Yes, <laughs> what you is have. that? What is that? Yes, you motherfucker. <laughs> she done been a dick thief once or twice because you seem like the type of chick. If you want it, you gonna get it. And it ain't gonna be a man. It ain't gonna be a man. It is. The last thing it's gonna be a man. You look at a nigga and hit your blacky mom and be like, I'm gonna tap that right there. I'm gonna tap that right there. I'm gonna hit that. That would never come out of my mouth. I'm gonna hit that. I'm gonna fuck on that nigga. Niggas get fucked on too. I know I pegged one. Niggas get fucked on, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, niggas get fucked on too. He probably wouldn't even want that from you. Wrong bitch. Mm. I don't know. You seem like you go pretty far, baby. You with the shits. I've been there, done that. Don't wanna do it again. It's my past now. So I'm just going to leave that alone. You feel like uh, reality TV and OnlyFans is just an easy way to make money? I think it's easy. Mm, I feel like if you put the the amount, of, the amount uh, the right amount of work in, you should be good, like, over time. Money just start flowing to you kind of a little easier. You know, you just got to get up there first. Mm. But after that, I feel like it should become easy. How's money flowing for you today? Good. You sure? I'm blessed. So All my Michael bills are paid, is everything. No. It bothered my soul. No, my sister gave me this for my birthday. Well, you know what? Hey, <laughs> sometimes family's gifts never make it out the closet. <laughs> Donnie, we know it. Ugly Christmas sweaters, things like that. You know, I know it's a thought that matters, but, you know, you keep that type of shit in the closet, mm. boo. Especially <laughs> 80,000. <laughs> Especially 80,000. You running through that. Like, yeah, I should run through that. That was through- gone. That was gone probably that same month. I'm not even going to lie to you. I had so many friends around this time. Like, we was all just out traveling, just doing whatever. So you started OnlyFans, what, about four years ago? How long about ago? Probably three. Probably three. So all these events to me are fucking current. They're all current. You talk like they're so a blast they are, the past. It's, it's Such gone a blast and for the past. Pa- no. Like, yeah, I remember I in 1983. Been... Like, no. <laughs> that is. This shit was a few years, no. couple years back. That's enough. It's not like it's like less than six months ago, like you know, it's not that recent. So you want to do reality TV? Uh, not reality TV. I probably just want to do, like I said, I just want to do like my little vlogs. Like on YouTube, I do my vlogs. They're funny. I am a funny person. Did you, <laughs> is it that you find yourself funny? Or no, fans my fans find, find funny. me funny. They the one. They the one who told me like I should start a YouTube or something. So they the one who really just told me like you should really start and a fans YouTube. Fans will tell you jump off the cliff if it and makes I'm them not gonna laugh. jump. It, no, it, they when I be people say when I be on live and they really like really be tuning in, they really be paying attention. I'm like, wow, you're actually pretty funny. Like you should you know like they broadcast think? it. And they've seen your only fans and they've saw you take those three days. <laughs> and they're like, mm, let me see what she on today. I just want to see her act normal. Let me see. Even though I know she didn't got gang banged, right? fucking drove up a wall. <laughs> they probably be my dick on they live when they just see me talking. Like some of them be like, real. "Stay right there." I'm like, "Y'all are so stay weird." Right there. Don't, <laughs> move. Don't move. <laughs> Give me two seconds. <laughs> <laughs> then all of a sudden, after that, you start moving it. You start seeing all these BRBs. <laughs> be right back. Be right back. Be right back. <laughs> they start dropping at the live when they done. They like, "All right, I'm done. Got my nut off. That's it." So you feel like YouTube is the future for you? Yes. No more, no more, no more fucking and sucking. No more, no more fucking, pegging. sucking, pegging, eating, <coughs> munching. None of this no more. So you done with it? Done. It's over. Did it already. It's just nothing else to do again. 
Yeah, we were <laughs> some maracas and shit. No, it was like when I was trying to de- demonstrate me doing three yeah, at one time. Like you were it was like maracas. Oh, I don't know. No, no, no. I don't know shake no maracas. Okay. The way you did it. That like, was me, that like, might be a future for jacking you, you know? it. You ever thought about, you know, joining? Nah, the all that dancing. I have no something? rhythm. No, I you have no, no rhythm. Nope. None. You take my black card. Nope. No. You ever stripped before? No. Never been a stripper. Exactly. These too went bad. straight to fucking. Straight to it. Fucking. But fucking at the same time, sucking. it's Let's behind the camera, so it's like I'm behind the camera. I do what I do, and I sell it. It's not like it's like. Broadcast with an audience, so I'm just like, you know, it was just like in my house. But it gets to an audience on a video, broad, but it's not audience. like it's like we're just right here. This it gets to a broad audience. This is gonna get to a broad audience. That's fine. You fine with that? They already don't see yeah. what I can do. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing much I can show them now. I'm done with it. <laughs> so you say vlogs is it for you? That's where you want to yes, be. Yes, I love vlogging. What's your most popular vlog? I just started two weeks ago, two, three weeks ago. So Stop coming here fucking different. catting with me and playing with me. Because all, all your shit's hella new. Yes, I told you I'm changing a new leaf. I said, when I started, so I said I'm in a progress. You sucking two weeks ago. No, not two weeks ago. I stopped fucking and sucking a year and a half ago. How you been surviving? Has OnlyFans still been giving you money? Mm hmm. They still buy videos, so it's like it's, it's not like. So you've been so you've been pretty much living off of mm-hmm. the Damn. past that, content. Yeah, I got like over four hundred videos. It, like I said, it's everything on there. You got any that you haven't released? You gonna do like a lost tapes one day? I don't have lost tapes. I sell everything. Yeah, yeah I'm I was saying, where a, you like stack it up, like where you just got some shit for a rainy day. Like if the shit slow down, you know they might want some new content from you. You got to keep some shit for them, even if it's just on the fly. <laughs> It'll probably just be solo. Well, you need. Don't you think you need to get to work? No, no. I'm good. I told you I'm good. Like I don't, I don't really need to make fuck. no more content. It's done. I'm just saying, mm-hmm. like, you know, just to keep your bread up if you don't really, like, because, I mean, vlogs, like, you know, getting into YouTube, shit like that. And I think, like, for, you know, people who just hop straight into porn, I think it's hard if you ain't got a super huge following, I would think. I mean, that's what I've seen. You know what I'm saying? Like, just to kind of, like, transition. It's a hard transition, baby. It is kind of, like, tedious. You know, if you wasn't already kind of doing that, mm-hmm. mixing both the worlds. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, the transition is kind of hard because it's, like, my fans came from for this, and now it's like now I'm this. So it's like they just trying to yeah. Like, look, what the fuck you got going on? Like, yeah, following your transition. I mean, I'm sure you got some diehard fans that probably ain't gonna go nowhere. Mm-hmm. You gonna have them, but you want your shit to grow too. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. You don't want to stay stagnant or get smaller, right? Yeah, I know, I understand what you mean. I, that's this is all a work in progress. Like I'm still just trying to figure everything out and like do what yeah. I need to do for real. What was to you in the last couple of weeks? What was your most popular vlog? You feel like how um, many have you dropped so far? It got it got deleted, but it was like the first one, really. Why get deleted? <clears throat> I don't know. I woke up one day and like seven of my videos was deleted off YouTube, and it was, I was so hurt. Well, I, I actually cried because I was hurt, and there was some really good vlogs. I don't know. It said it was deleted by the uploader. It was weird, like, and I never deleted them. So it's like I don't know. Who's what got your passwords? Nobody. You sure? I positive. I have a um. I gave access to my editor, but they don't have access to like delete photos. They just got access to upload and edit. Like they can't delete nothing. So it's like it was no possible way me or her. And then that's my best friend at the end of the day. So it's like it's no way. Like and she takes time to edit them. So I doubt she was just like, oh, let me just delete these. I don't know where you know. So it was really weird. I was trying to um contact YouTube, try to see where they win because YouTube didn't say nothing. It was just like how good were they doing? I mean, views are getting a day. I want them. <laughs> The highest one was just 11K. I got 6K subscribers on YouTube. It's all brand new. It you was trying. a really good vlog. Mm-hmm. I like doing it, though. Like I'm just waiting to like, a video go like, hit a mil or 100K or something. You wasn't That's really smoking. Weird. You wasn't doing nothing like that in the Mm-mm. video. So. I, don't, I, I don't have no answers. That really made me mad and sad. I was crying because I'm like, nothing was. They was Somebody up for it. Somebody threw salt on you. I don't know what happened. Something happened in the mix. I don't just <laughs> see it like... They not just gonna magically erase themselves. That's what I said, but it's like Somebody I don't know was who. involved in that. I, that's what I feel like, but it's and like you're saying I don't this know, girl's I don't know the only one that had access. But to she it. cannot delete photos. Like if you look at YouTube video. permissions, that that's what they were—the videos, right? They, not photos. Content. There was videos. Mm-hmm. There was vlogs. Mm-hmm. So somebody in the mix erased that. Somebody hit delete. <laughs> And not, it's not going nowhere. It's saying they were erased by the uploader. 
That's what I'm saying. So I don't. So how the I fuck you gonna sit there? Know. How we gonna sit there and let's tell the truth? Shame the devil. That girl could have possibly. She did. She deleted your shit. And I called her and said that. She deleted your shit. Man. I don't think she did. Though. I think she did. I don't. It don't happen accidentally. That's that's no. Because I did think it was her. Seven I'm like videos? no. We're yes. Not even okay. Talking listen. About one. We talking about yeah, seven, seven of them, Donnie. Seven. That's a fucking. It, it lie, is a bro. lie. Like all that work. That's something Mikey would do. No, I won't put down Mikey. That's <laughs> fucked up. Like, that shit would be hell around here. Somebody's, it's a problem. I did call Seven. her because I thought it was her. I'm like, listen, like, AJ, like, when you come down here, like, you got to run the ones because there's no reason why you should be deleting my videos, nah, nah, nah. And I was like, just let me know when you back in Atlanta and we're going to meet up and do all that. And she was like, she was like, I didn't do it. I'm trying to figure out how to work it, nah, nah, nah. So at first I wasn't believing the bullshit. She could have like, accidentally deleted them. Who knows? I don't know. Seven you can't of them. accidentally delete that's, seven? That's, that's, that's habitual. Seven of them? <laughs> like, nah, that's the same. Like, one or two is uh, like, what the fuck happened? Like, but seven, seven of them? Said it has been deleted by the uploader. Yes, but I don't think she did it. I really don't think she did Ooh, okay. it. Okay, Casper had a problem with you. Huh? bitch came and said, man, she ain't Something like, happened, but something. I just, I cried, Ooh. and I woke up the next day and kept vlogging. And I said, you know what? I'm just going to keep it pushing. I'm not going. I don't think she did it. Well, though. this just happened in the last couple of weeks because you just started. Mm -hmm. So this happened like, like a week and a half ago. Like a week ago. Two days. 24 hours ago. A couple times. 24 hours ago. No, not 24. Like a week and a half. <laughs> but I said I was going to keep pushing, so, you know. <laughs> All right. So, I have to ask, like, are you genuinely happy with what you're doing? Like, or is this just like a phase? You're just trying it out. And you're going to no, go back. And you're going to run your little ass back to what you know. <clears throat> no, I really love vlogging. Like, it's my little happy place. And I love, like, after she edited it, I like looking at it. Like, I'll be watching my videos. Like, I'm a fan of my own self. <laughs> See, and you know what? That That's cool, right? Mm -hmm. That's cool. That's cool. <laughs> but you got to, people got to watch it. Like, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not saying that you can't catch no motion. Mm -hmm. But the shit's hard. Like, and if you ain't got something that's, fucking tragic happening to you or something that's filled up with some drama it's kind of hard to catch some wave through this yeah. motherfucker you're right let me see your tongue stick your tongue out what the fuck let me see look like you've been chewing on rubber bands what's I that supposed three to be a, a, a crazy face what's no supposed to be? it's just three tongue piercings they black I had what silver you trying but to do? build a bitch of potato head no no I just I don't know. I just, I got a lot of pictures. Everything is See, fierce. that's what makes me find it hard that you even know what you really even want. Because you don't what? know. Yes, I do. No, you don't. Yes, I do know what I want. What you want? To not do porn anymore. That's it? You that's just the don't want to do, you don't care what step. it is. You just don't want to do porn no more. I know I want to do YouTube. And I actually started really being consistent with it. Yeah. So, like, when it blow up, I'm going to find the right audience one day. <laughs> and when it blow up, it's just going to blow up. And that's just going to be that. To then, right now, it's just like, at a, you know. You showing your titties and shit on there? No. I'm just saying, like, you be sitting there in, you know, provocative clothing. No, not on YouTube. You sit there in regular shit. Regular clothes. You be clothes. covered up, maybe even a turtleneck. Chilling. Not a turtleneck. That's crazy. I still dress oh, like... Crazy? No, I don't, I don't where, know. Where are you from originally? I'm from Dallas, Texas. Yeah, so you don't wear no, tur no turtlenecks around no. there for you, huh? I just fuck down there. No. <laughs> I still wear like crop tops and shorts though. Like that's just like my type of vibe. I don't I don't care how cold it is. I'm gonna have a crop top and a shorts on. Yeah. You ain't, never got, you ain't never got down before? You never got put there? You never got sat down? Sat down, meaning what? You ain't never been on the blade? No. Not once? No. Never went Harry Hines? No. Shout out Harry Hines, by the way. I don't even know what that is. Yeah, hey, you from Dallas. I don't know. You don't know? Nothing. About... Nothing? Yes, you do. That's no. why you looked away. You don't know nothing? Nothing. I don't know nothing. I don't know to even like talk. Like, you know I don't something. know. You knew where to go get all the fucking piercings in your mouth. You knew something. Yeah, dollar piercings. You knew on something. Dollar piercing Fridays in Dallas. <laughs> you knew something. No. You knew something. So <laughs> I'm you not want me to it. know something. Okay, I, like, I don't know. Like, something. something about what? Like, what? Okay, okay bitches said, never, they never, do it. Bitches do it. Yeah, you never I, I do no. no. I mean, you have, but no, I just haven't. in a little different format. That's not something pussy. You kind of did. Mm, no, I did. In a sense. Yeah, I doubt it. But just because they ain't touch it, they mm -hmm. still looking. They can look all they want. Yeah. I ain't said it. It still consumes no. in the mind. still the same thing. It's still sexual. You can say that. Right? You can it's say still that. sexual. You can say that. So it doesn't really like, like you're still selling a form. It's still a form of sex. 
Okay. You're not sitting there just fucking ooh ah, ah and just putting some titties up in the camera. No, you taking dick. Oh you my drove god. Up the wall, nailed. You've been nailed. So I mean, you you got to hold that one. I mean. That's okay. Right? You yeah. got to hold that one. You got uh, nailed. I know. Hmm? You got nailed. You was getting nailed. Sadly. Why is it sad? You did it. Right. Right? I like it, I did it. it. Like I, I can't I don't regret it. It's just like okay, I did it. It's like okay. <laughs> That's it. It's just I did it. Yes, I, it happened. Yeah. On to the next. On to the next, huh? Mm-hmm. So you got to do it again. Nope. Dollars run low. I gotta go back. We rocking gifts from last Christmas. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm very for appreciative for my stuff. Hey, I I'm under- very understandable, baby. You know, <laughs> I'm just saying. If you was really touching it in that shit, you know, your only fans, and it was lucrative because it sounded like it was, your shit should have been racked up. Put together a little bit better. That way. I have a bad spinning habit. I you got a bad spinning yeah. habit? Bad money management. Very bad. This is proof. I want the world to know. This is proof sitting right here. Right here, y'all. Of why niggas like me existed. You did. What, what are I'm niggas saying? like you? The boogeyman. What does that mean? The good one, though, the smelling good one that walked through the door, mm. you know? <laughs> you know? And do you what? Know how this shit go. <laughs> You know and how this shit go, baby. You know what I'm saying? I know. Explain Real to me. Real boogeyman. They used to come from over under your bed and come chill with you and play cards, pop a bottle, you know, maybe do a podcast. <laughs> you know? I mean, shit. <laughs> no, I, it's okay. I mean, you know, hey, what? I was that kind of nigga, you know? It's a boogeyman, you know? A boogeyman. I never heard that. Never heard of that? I still barely understand. You remember the boogeyman it. when you was a kid? Yes. You remember? I never seen it, it but I heard about it. Never seen him, but you heard about uh-huh. it, right? That's all that matters, right? No. That's I don't all know. that matters. You heard about him for a reason, baby. <laughs> Let me ask, what, what do you want to accomplish off of this? Like, what's the what's the play? Like, Off this? Like, yeah, coming and doing, like, an interview, you know what I'm saying? Coming and, like, you know, even putting your story out there, because that shit was kind of fucked up. I mm-hmm. ain't gonna lie, I didn't like hearing that. It made me feel, feel a way about it for you. You know, but what show, what do you want to accomplish off this? What do you want the people to know? Um... I really want to let the um, other females know <clears throat> if they feel like they kind of stuck in the porn industry or like stuck being a stripper. Like, it's, if you really want to get out of it, you can get out of it. It's going to be like a hard, rocky start because people going to view it as one thing and you're trying to move on to something else. So it is kind of hard to like change the narrative for real. But I mean, if, as long as you put your mind to it and you stay consistent, you can definitely do it. Also, um, I came here because, you know, I got bad anxiety. So it's good that I came by myself and trying to like just fill out and just, you know, Really just try to put myself out there more without, you know, having like a little anxiety attack. So it's like real. I don't want us to play out. Listen, let's not play porn stars out like they're the victims and shit. No, I'm saying if they want to get, I know if some like, feel like stuck. If you, yeah, if you feel stuck, you can't they do get out feeling addiction. stuck. Call this 1-800 hotline. They do be feeling mm-hmm. stuck. Some feel like they just cannot do anything because they just feel like they're used as a sex object and they just feel stuck. They honestly do. I met a lot of females that actually felt that way. And they don't have to feel that it's way. All, hey, it's all about choice. A lot of people want to get out. It's all about choice. If you want to get out, you know what you do? Walk your ass the fuck out. Mm-hmm. But see, a lot of people don't go and try to find something that they can cling to. And that, that's what it is. Like, mm-hmm. it's hard to stop anything cold turkey, right? Right. You got to kind of have Gradually, something, yeah, you know what I'm saying, fine. to kind of help don't you have an idea about it? and put your mind somewhere else. You know what I'm saying? Because we all, at the end of the day, we all got to go. That shit bother the fuck out of me. I want to throw that motherfucker clear across the room. I do. I swear to God. My purse that my sister bought me, you want to throw it? This Michael right. Kors, yes. Mm. Go to Ross for that shit. Oh, my God. Come on, baby. A lot of money. Well, a lot of it time. It doesn't matter. Man, I buy, I ain't buy what I like. Through. A lot of money. You didn't buy that, though. Oh, right? but I mean, I'm But still. you would have bought it. It's a cute bag. I don't care what it is. It's I don't ugly. care if it came out of Family Dollar. It's, it's cute. Ugly. It's cute. You don't crime. like it. No, you're you just don't like it. Crime. What the? By what? Well, I, I, it's I, I, cute. I laid it down for a reason. I don't let care. It's a cute, die. nice look gift, y'all. Man, don't let people think you have to have the most expensive rest. bag. Just to, I don't have to hey, prove myself to nobody. Let though. it rest. Just let it rest. It'll rest. Thanks, twin. I love it. It'll rest. And a matching shoes. It'll rest. toes. Cute. Let it rest. You oh, ain't gotta... you bought the shoes to match it. No, she got it. I said she got the shoes to match it. Yeah. <laughs> That's nice, baby. You know what? My bad. I didn't mean to hate on your Michael Kors. Yes, okay. I don't I'm... care. 
I'm People all the feel way. like you have I'm to be a designer. No, but I just know, let me tell you something. When it comes to really special, you came from not having nothing, right? Mm -hmm. I came from not having nothing. I always know the special when we getting too much money. If you got it, the shit gonna show. When you don't, it's I feel gonna like they kind of make you a target. It's gonna show. Because it sounds like to me, right? You mm -hmm. did a lot of fucking and sucking, babe. And it was lucrative for the time being. Mm -hmm. You didn't really, you was, I feel like you was fucking because you liked it. And that's what you was doing. Because if you didn't and you knew you was laying with all the men that you really didn't like, mm -hmm. your ass would have stacked up every little bit of that. I was that. smart with my money. That's on everything I love. He wasn't smart with who you are as a person either. Because you don't I didn't know, know you myself. Like men I didn't. or women. I know exactly you what say I like. You do how? You can't tell me what I like, though. Kind of. No, you cannot. Kind of. There's no way you can tell me. You cannot tell me more about like myself that I don't already men. know. If you didn't like laying oh, with the <laughs> men and all the money that you got from that, you would have felt like, man, I ain't spending what the fuck I had to do for that shit. I didn't have that mindset around that time. I'm sorry. You know what you had to do? What I had to do for that shit? I don't even like men. Mm -hmm. You said this to me. You yeah. don't even like men. Like, ugh, the thought of me. I wish I had ugh. that mindset. I but, didn't, though. I just didn't. I have none for Cause you. Cause baby, you know what it is. You still a kid, mm -hmm. and you don't like. And that's no, that's no disrespect. Please go like, ahead. I, I don't you know. No. That, like, I know my it's okay. You asked me like, but it's not. No disrespect when I say it. It's because you a kid, mm -hmm. and you don't really know what you want yet. Mm -hmm. you, okay. So for, it's better for you to go through life and just say I'm experimenting than mm -hmm. trying to sit there and lock yourself in something you think you want. Because sweetie, you young, and I don't <laughs> think you really know what you want just yet. Okay. That's just the God's honest truth from it's what fine. I see, love. Like, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Heart to heart, person to person. You know what I'm saying? I don't think you really know what you want just yet. That's opinionated. You know what I mean? Because if you were sitting there, mama, and you had to do all that, you had to endure something, we ain't even got to repeat it, but just the things that <laughs> yeah. you was doing, multiples, all this type of <laughs> shit, right? It's because you really didn't know what you wanted. You don't know what you want. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? At, it's around not, that time, I didn't. Yeah. yeah, it's not just for the bread. No, it's for the bread, I feel like you would have stacked it up a little bit better. I would have thought the been. same thing, too. I just, it just all kind of flew out my account. You know, we would have walked away with more than some fucking face, Drew. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That's all I'm saying. Like, you, if if we were, if you were just in that mix. Some people just not into that stuff, though. I'm it's, just not it's, into But that. at least have the bread. What I'm going to have a dream for? If you ain't spent it on nothing, what the fuck you spending it on? You good spirit about? and good faith? <laughs> I, mean, just go. I was done with my it? money. I don't know. I was just Where done with it. Go? I don't know. I don't. Spending on all them fake bitches, like, all this shit is gone. Everything is gone. Everything. All I did not manage it person. good at all. Yes. I did not. Trying that to appease everybody else, and we not mm -mm. appeasing ourselves. No, I was fine. It was just for the moment. Like, I was just living in a moment for real. And I was, cool. I wasn't even thinking about, like, You future. can do that because you're young. So mm -hmm. you're supposed to do that. Have your little fuck-ups and blow it. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Do all I learned that now, shit. though. Like, now, yeah. No, you got more coming. <laughs> it's just to be. No, that was, It's going to take I, a couple times, baby. It yeah, but does. I learned I my why. lesson. No, I already learned my lesson. It takes That's a couple cool. times. No, nah, I feel like the next go I around, I'll be I said that many times, too, and I did it again. That's you. I ain't going to lie. It just happens. It's just the nature of it, mama. It's got to really bother you. Mm. Just like it should have bothered you when you was getting nailed multiple times. Why do you? Multiple times. It should have bothered you then. It would have bothered me after the first or second time. I'd have been like, fuck, I don't know. Like, <laughs> something's got to give it this. I got to really figure this yeah. out. Yeah. I just, I don't know. I just wanted you to I didn't have no guidance for real. No, I know. I didn't I have no guidance. I didn't know what. Even though you was, you was, know. was it for you in your mind, you was gay for pay because that's you feeling like you being gay because you feel like you're normal by being with women. Mm hmm. You know what I'm saying? So you, I just felt like you would have respected that just a little bit more. I should have. You know what I'm but saying? But I didn't. So, but that's you, a learning and, step. And, and you didn't. But that's mm -hmm. the only thing that I look at. I'm like, these events just took place. So these are very new. So you're going to have to really mm -hmm. show me that I want to see 10 years from now, 15 years from now, that's really, oh, I stood on business. Because you don't really know if that's going to be you yet. I just don't want you to set that in stone. And you don't really know just yet, because me and you both know I know for a fact. People, are, hey, people always hold us accountable, but the problem is we never hold ourselves accountable when we go look in the mirror. It's so easy to look at ourselves when we know that we lying to ourselves. I'm not lying that to myself. That shit be God. fucked up, homie. It's fucked up the way this world works, oh, man. For my real. God. For real. No, I'm pretty, you know. You're pretty sure, huh? I'm you positive. Like, I'm, lessons, I'm really, I learned my lessons. Like, I, I fucked up. I know I did a lot. Of, I had no guidance. I have no, I had no, damn near no brain cells. Just, 
I living in the moment, that. nothing. I don't. I don't believe that you gay. That's the only thing. Like That's out of fine. this whole combo, that is fine. out of this whole combo, listen, oh and the combo has been great. I love talking to you. She <laughs> could talk to you a lot more. Trust me, I feel it. It's there, the vibe. But baby, I just feel like that part. I don't think you know just yet. That's I, it. I'm, Everything else was beautiful, but that I don't know just yet. That's fine. You plan on doing music next? <laughs> no. Hmm? No. If I have a ghostwriter, I might. People no. say I look like I think could be a can, rapper. Think you can rap? No. Anybody ever say you favored any one of the female rappers? Who do you think I favor? Who do you know you favor? No, who do you think? <laughs> I don't know. Who do you who know? Do I, who do you know you favor? Cause who I do know, I look like I favor? Who do you know? I don't know nobody. Nobody. I listen to R&B only. No, hmm. nothing. Just R&B. It has to be 90s because that was the last time they fucking, I feel like they cut it. Early 2000s. Like more underground artists, like people, some people who should be famous, but they're not. Okay. You know, the listen one to that, more that style. You yeah. listen to 90s? 90s, early 2000s? Yeah. Dig the crates. You'll love it. A little bit. You'll love it. Any, anybody you got a favorite from back in the 90s, you listen to R&B. SWV, Escape. <clears throat> um, I don't know if I can somebody. In the mix. You don't like R. Kelly? Um, I don't think I play any of his songs for real. Uh, who do I listen oh, to? Oh, you love him. You love him, baby. Why do you think I'm going to love you him? You love him. Why do you think? Explain to me why. Just because. Just they because cold. what? What oh, you mean? They cold. What he be singing about? Just got to find out. No, tell me. Just give me a hint. Go pull up the uh, good album. The 12, I think it's 12 play. 12 play album. Donnie, am I right? I think it's the 12 play album <laughs> by R. Kelly. <laughs> pull that one up. <clears throat> You'll like that one. I, I, I will. Not the, not the late 2000s, R. Kelly. He got kind of, you know, he went off. But the, the 90s, the real deal mm. shit. Solid. I consider it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I listen. What's some of your favorite R&B artists that you say is underground that none of us know? Uh, I gotta look at my phone. Really. Then why would you have to look when they some of your favorites? I was, I got a, oh this one turned off. I got a lot of favorites. Let's see. Who's one or two of your favorites? Um. Ninety three. Yeah, good nineties you know, on church. Good year, yeah, good year. Ninety three is a good year. You know who Eric Billinger is? Yes, I do. I love him. Eric yeah. Billinger's dope. I got. Video. I wouldn't say he's. I wouldn't call him underground. I ain't gonna say he's underground. That's that was just the first name I. No, I just that's the first name I seen. Okay, okay. It's yeah, like I a lot of people. I got Janet Jackson in here. Saint Harris. She's not here. underground, baby. No, I'm saying it's just some people icon. I'm looking at right now. Okay, you, you want me to look at my icon. underground? Okay. Yeah, you yeah. just mentioned the icon. I know. No, no I'm saying well I'm known. looking. Listen, icon. I'm just going through my thing. I'm just seeing whoever I see down here. Let me see. Jen Jackson was a freak. Loved well, I don't her. know too much. Loved about her, her boy. Oh, we loved her. She's still sexy to this day. Sexy back then, sexy now. It's a girl that make good music. Her name is Mari Noel. I think I've heard of her too. Um, Jordan Ward. Jazz, I love R and B. Jazz Carees. K Ron. Okay, they're getting their shout outs. <laughs> yeah, y'all get y'all recognition. I don't know, it's a lot of people in here. Just yeah. blue name, sir. Like, I don't know. So you say you'll be, you say you're a rapper. Say, so fuck, <laughs> if they ghostwrite for you, right? Yeah, now. if they ghostwrite for, uh, ghostwrite for me, I'll do it. A lot of people say I look like I should be rapping, which is. Who do you think you look like? Tell who me. Who do I look like to you? Do you tell me, because I don't know who I look like. I don't know no people for real. I'll give you a mixture. I think you like a hybrid. It's like a mix, <laughs> right? Hybrid. Like a mix between like a little mama and probably like a glow reel a little bit. Glow if they if they reel. fucked around and like had a baby, which would never happen, like you know what I'm saying, you'd probably be like that product. Oh. What you think? No. No? Mm. You know what I'm talking about though, right? I don't know who little mama is, but I know who glow reel is. Huh? Pull up a picture of her. See if you think so. Of who? A little mama or Glorilla? Yeah, little mama. You know what Glorilla look like. Well, a picture of little mama. You tell me. She kind of kind of got that favor, especially when you was crying. Because you know she had a picture <laughs> when she was crying. It was crazy. It was a meme. That shit was insane. Y'all kind of favored each other, but that shit ain't funny because you was crying for real. Yeah, whatever. like, that's her? Yeah, that's her. You don't think y'all kind of favor each other? I'd rather hear from She's you. She's really beautiful, but I don't think. I don't never called her ugly. ugly. No, I'm saying she's beautiful, but I don't think I favor her. Not at all. We've definitely got two different distinctive features. Yeah, no, for sure. 
For sure. I, I mean, I'm just agreeing with you. Hey, hey, you know, no, I'm saying you, you're different. You know what I'm saying? You, little mama, I mean, I don't know. I don't want to sound chatting. wrong. Yeah, I don't want to sound wrong. Just say it. I don't know. Like, you look like, you know what I'm saying? You ready for the cigarette burns and stab wounds. You know what I'm saying? Little mama, she didn't, you know, she went off to. What is cigarette burns and stab wounds? I'm just saying, like, you just look like you're with the shits. You know what I'm saying? That's just my way of saying it. Like, you, you go get down for the get down. Fighting? No, just whatever come uh -huh. our way. I wouldn't uh -huh. be afraid riding with you. You know, I feel like, man, we get into, man, anything. It's, oh, it's yeah. whatever. It's up. Yeah, I don't let too much. I don't let a lot of shit slide, for real. Yeah, I feel that. What you I don't go for let that. Slide? I, don't, I don't let a lot of shit slide. Like, if I feel I'm getting disrespected too bad, either mm -hmm. I'm just going to be the big person just walk off or... Somebody catching a stab. Is somebody going to get it? Something. I don't yeah, know. I really be trying case. to work on my anger, though. So I really be chilling. I be trying to. I haven't had a fight in three years. So that's good. Two. When was the last fight? What happened? Actually, no. Because I had a fight I had a fight in the club two months ago. Yeah, what was your fight um, over? You don't feel like you was too pretty that night to be playing with Oh, I bitches? didn't care that wig wasn't coming off. It didn't come off. Um, Helmet head, huh? Mother yeah, was glued on. Glued on, sold on in the back. Oh, yeah. Just, that's hard to get off. <laughs> That's hard to get off. Mother got to really cut that out your head. <laughs> yeah. It's got to get cut out. We was at the club, and um, my homegirl, she was in the restroom. It was like the, we was in a section right next to these girls, I guess. Like these three group of girls. Two of them had went to the restroom when my homegirl was already in there. They beating on the door trying to get in now. Kyla was like, oh, dang. Well, Kyla was like, oh, I'm in here, I'm in here, I'm in here. Like, you know, like, but the girls, just, I guess the girls were trying to jump on her. Mind you, we don't know what's going on. The other group, it's like eight of us. We don't even know that's going on right there. Security just escorted her out and told them to go back to the section. Mind you, their section is right next to us, right next to ours. They pulling her out through the door. The door is like really like right next to us. Um, and then one of the girls threw a hookah. I just feel a hookah go behind my back. Ooh, you just felt that and, go. <laughs> yeah, I was just like, and I was Ooh. like, what the fuck? And felt then the my heart. <laughs> felt that air off it, huh? Yeah. That air like, dynamics what the fuck? came across. <laughs> He's straight up. Mind you, we in the clubs. I don't know what's going on. Like, it was like, what the fuck? And I see my homegirl. She was like, why the fuck you do that? And she pushed yeah. the girl. Yeah. And I put my phone down. I said, so what are we doing? Like, which I don't like, which I want to do, which I want to do. The girls are standing there. So I. I didn't know what was going on, so that's why I didn't just go ahead and st just start swinging because it's like I didn't really know what's going on. My homegirl just pushed them. They didn't do nothing back, so it was like, okay, it was going to be that. We was going to nip it in the butt. The owner of the club, he actually knew me, so he, I guess he seen things uh, trying to transpire or whatever, so he had uh, pulled me back. And when he pulled me, he turned me away. And I guess as soon as he pulled me away, they just started fighting, so they jumped, they ended up jumping my homegirl because three of them did not come to fight at all, so it was like it was just us four against them, two, three girls. I'm telling him, I'm like, dude, let me go, let me go. Mm. Like, why are you holding me? Like, ain't nothing happening yet. As soon as I turned my neck and I had seen them, it's a, it's a whole video that people in the club was recording. Um, I just jumped across the table and I punched her down, took her and the security down with me. We was just fighting in the club and then the girl was trying to pull my hair, so they tried to jump me on the on the little chair or whatever. You know what's crazy these days? Maybe you can agree or disagree. Mm. Is I noticed, like, the chicks fight more today and the niggas just shoot. Like, it's yeah, like the chicks, definitely. like, it used to be the niggas fought more than the chicks. You ain't really see, y'all ain't yeah, really, really have no confrontations like that. You Dudes know what do not be knowing how to fight. Now it's like, chicks is getting down more. You talking about, like, man, they over here full-blown trying to jump some shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And now, and the niggas just, it's time to put, draw down. You know what Most I'm saying? Most of them say, because so, they ain't spent all that money it, to fight. And it ain't even, <laughs> like, no, for real. Like, yeah. that's what's crazy. I get that, but it's like, you ain't got to... Go to that and I don't for even real. Think that you shouldn't even niggas, take that. Niggas can't fight. It's niggas are scared to lose because everybody always recording and he always gets made yeah, more nah. of a thing. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, a nigga can't just take <laughs> his ass whooping and live on another day and, like, nigga, we got out. It was what it was. Now nah, they it's don't recorded. Do that. Now it's put out. Now it's now you gotta, gotta act like you the big, Yeah, you gotta, you gotta do you something. You gotta look now. like you doing something for real. It, it's fucked up. It really you is. You be fighting? Yeah, I do. Hell yeah, yeah I be fighting. When was your last fight? Man, this morning, life, getting the fuck up. No. <laughs> you dig what I'm saying? Shit, I fight every day. You know what I'm saying? Shit. Um, Man, they get you coming and going. Bill collectors calling. No. Motherfuckers want bread. Motherfuckers at your door. All types of shit, man. Fight, fight that. Fight every day. <laughs> Just because a nigga want to walk up and take a swing at you, shit, that ain't the highlight of life. This shit hits you way harder. Life harder. hits you hard as fuck. Than anything. Harder than any nigga can put his hands on you and you put your hands on another nigga. Life I hits agree. You, life hits you harder than the motherfucker. So when you ask me, do I fight? Hell yeah, I fight every motherfucking day. I fight to be this. Be able to sit here with you and we just go in together and talk about it. 
had to fight to get here so we could do this. I fuck with that. You know what I'm saying? So I had to fight about. my sleep to get up to get uh, here. Yeah, you had to fight. You got to fight, baby. You came my in with the was up early. blanket. Yeah, I literally just came from the airport. From Dallas? But, no, from Vegas. Vegas. What you doing on Vegas? Vegas? Um, working. My manager had signed two females, so I still got um, one of my OnlyFans pages is still active. Working? So, what do you mean? What were you doing? No, it wasn't content. OnlyFans. Nothing. It wasn't nothing. What do it's you not mean? nothing really on, like public interviews and stuff. Oh, I'm saying you like on like, the strip doing public interviews. That's what I oh, do. Okay. That's when I say work. I mean like that. Okay, because I don't know. Like when you say like, oh, you <clears> yeah, you, I know what you mean. But you know, yeah, when I when I put say the work, OnlyFans back in the mix. So I was like, okay, working OnlyFans Vegas content. Where are we going with that? You know what I'm saying? But now you just corrected it for me. Mm -hmm. You just said you was out there, you was doing like interviews. Like doing like public what interviews. You, yeah, what was you asking people? What was, what was like one or two of the questions? Um, <laughs> like females. Um, I forgot to be asking them. I cannot think of them on top of my head. No. I know one question for the females, the last question I asked, I said on the scale of one to ten, how, bad, how badly could I beat your ass? That would be one. I actually did one in the airport with a girl. She, I don't know, she was trying to fight me for real or what, but that was funny. This contest shit ain't easy, baby. That's <laughs> why you don't know. And you knew to, and I love that. Like, I hope you get to see what it's really like. Yeah, no, I know. Easy. I don't it go come extreme, with a bunch though. Of, listen, it come with a bunch of drama, especially when you start getting on. I'm just giving you the game so you know mm -hmm. what to expect, especially when you start it. getting on. Like, I'm sure you hear, like, little sneaky little comments. People got their little shit to say, like, through your OnlyFans, shit like that, but you don't have to really even deal with that. Over here, you're going to deal with all that by the masses. People going to make you really real because they're going to just keep implementing that. Mm -hmm. You're going to have hella. You just got to, I mean, you got to ignore it for sure. But the first go around, it'll get to you a little bit. I think it does everybody until you kind of. I get think I had it. my share of that already. Well, didn't you, were you the one that say like you have anxiety? Mm -hmm. That shit going to send your anxiety through the roof. I just drink some liquor. I'm telling you, yeah. But sometimes the liquor don't always help. I used to think so too. So I stopped drinking like that. For real. I Temporarily, don't. yeah. You're right. Like Temporarily. you gotta you so gotta I get be able over to do it, this yeah. shit. Cause you gotta be able to do this shit without it. Exactly. You can't That's always, the goal though. You can't always mm -hmm. have it. Like it's cool to drink some liquor. I get that. But like there's gonna be times you're gonna be in a setting that there is no liquor and they're gonna still want you to be who you've been. I'm just pacing myself. Yeah. You can't be like, oh my God, I got anxiety. Let me get a drink. Cause the white people that's probably paying you that big ass check, they don't give a fuck about none of that. Exactly. We don't care about no liquor. We don't care about none of that <laughs> shit. Don't. You might land a movie. People might want you on that movie. They want you acting how you've been, how they've hired you to be on. Like, hey, we need you to play this character. Well, the only way you can get in character is by a drink. You, that's not, you don't need to mm -hmm. do that. You got to be able to, on a drop of a dime. Right. That's the goal. You know what I'm saying? Like, get away from that shit. You sure that's the goal? That is the goal. Because you don't need, drinking ain't going to trust me. You know I know. I already know. It's baby steps, baby steps, baby steps. Get no, that. baby steps for sure. But I'm just saying, this content world, this media world, like mm -hmm. stepping into this this realm, it should chew you up and spit you out. It's a real nasty, vile motherfucking mm -hmm. environment. I know, I know. Straight I up. Like, it gets real ugly and it makes and breaks people daily. I know. You have a good career in it today, somebody say something or spread something about you tomorrow and you can't clean it up the right way or you can't move past it the right way or scorn you had your ass fucked up for the rest of it. And they gonna forever remember. They gonna forever remember that shit. I know. Trying to get, hey, no, no you I know. Yes, I do. No, I promise you, you I do. Don't. I promise you I do. You just got in. I promise you I do. You just got in. I didn't tell you why I went viral. Yet. Have you ever seen a video? We were like, <laughs> be my guest. Give me your floor. I can say it for you, but I, I want to hear you. Come on, for sure. It was a video of me on live, and basically it was like a girl. Oh, what the fuck it say? It was basically like, girl cheats on her boyfriend on live. That's why I had made the 80 bands that month. Cause that went viral. They said I was a tree. They said this. They said that. They was talking. They still talking about me to this day. Even time I post, I said, "Oh, we ain't forget what you did." Nah, 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 nah. I had my share that. They had money on my head. Talking about, "Oh, bitch, you." Um, I was like, oh, we're going to put 50000 on your head to get you going. Like, that was really, like, real. Behind you doing what? About cheating che on my boyfriend on live. Everything was fake. So I was naked, getting pounded on live. Really wanted nothing. His dick was soft. He was, just, he was rubbing up against me. It was a dude at the bottom who, was, who also joined the live. Was, at the time, it was my manager who was joined, but it was, like, a boy I used to play. Like, he was my man or whatever. And 
I mean, he just he just acted that shit out good as fuck. Everybody believed it, ate it up. That's how I just went viral. I was on everything you can think of. Was that your only trending. like viral moment? I had a I went viral a couple of times, but to that extent, no, it was never like to that extent ever again. But I had a couple other times I just went viral for like little stuff. But that was like the main one. That's what people when they see me, they're like, "Oh, you're that girl from Instagram Live." I hear that all the time. Still. Well, okay, here's some more game for you. That I hope that you you should have knew this was coming with it. See, we don't know it because you don't. That was your first go around, so it's like you gotta watch what you put out mm -hmm. because people don't ever let that shit go. Like even my past, you are gonna hear somebody always say something. It's always gonna be something because of how I got on. So that shit kind of come with the territory. Mm -hmm. I just say for the up and coming and people who inspire to try to get in this, watch watch what you do. You know what I'm saying? Because they always gonna let you know who you were, not where you're going. Literally. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I understand that. Anything else you want to say to the people before we get up out of here? No, I'm okay. You sure? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That was good. You just told him, was it good? Was it healthy? Do you feel better? I feel good. Like, I didn't really, like, I wasn't uncomfortable at any moment or nothing. Like, good. it was good. Like, Love I that. <laughs> Love that, giving them disclaimers to make more of them come. Love that. I mean, yeah, y'all Y'all don't have to be scared for real. It's okay. Yeah. Right. So we done been through worse shit in life, huh, baby? Way worse. Way it's motherfucking nothing. worse. It's nothing. <laughs> Shit's breeze. <laughs> it was smooth. Yeah, I fucked with it. I appreciate you for coming and fucking Thank with you me. for having me. Most definitely. The Sharp Tank. No jumper. Sharpest, coolest podcast <laughs> in the world. <laughs> hey, Donnie, shoot us out the motherfucking gym.